from the top. So again, we're going from the act on main screen. We're going to go to settings, actors, CRM, sugar CRM. My account is already linked up already. So what we would do, what you would have here is connect. You would hit the connect button here, and then you would go ahead and put your credentials in. And then from there, you'll just see the screen here that's active. So the only other thing you have to do in Act On for now is under settings, you go to apps. You need to enable your API access. So you would hit generate key, and you would copy this key. Now in Act On, you'll see in your, um, another piece of information you'll need is you're going to need the beginning part of your Act On URL. Um, I don't know if you can see my actual URL right now. Let me see. Down here a little bit. Operating with me right here, this first portion here. So the CI36 is our server number, .actonsoftware.com. So yours should be CI53 or whatever number uh, server that you're at. That's what you'll be looking at. That back up here in my bar. Okay, so that's all you're gonna need to, to, to use for Acton for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into Sugar. So away. And then in your Sugar account, go to your admin page, which will take you here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to your developer tools, go to your module loader. In the Acton University, you'll have a link to the Sugar CRM package. You'll download that to your, uh, your PC or Mac. Hit Browse, find the file, upload it, and then you'll see this, this exact same language here. So Acton Integrated Marketing Automation for Sugar CRM, version 7.x, the 8.x. We'll hit install. It'll take about, I don't know, two, three minutes, and then you'll see it pop up here, and then you'll hit save. So then from here, we'll go back to our, it'll, actually, it'll, it'll take you automatically back to your admin page. Uh, but we'll go back to the admin page here. We'll go to the system. We'll hit the repair button here. Nothing was broken, obviously, but just something, things were changed in the background. So we want to make sure we relink everything back in Sugar. So click quick repair and rebuild. Now, when you click on this button, you're going to think nothing's going to happen. But down here, you'll see that something's loading. It probably takes about mm, four or five minutes for Sugar to run, run, run its diagnostics. Then the screen will be replaced with a white screen, and it'll go through a bunch of check marks. At the very bottom, it'll say done, and you hit save. That will take you back to your admin page. So from here, we'll need to just go ahead and set up our connectors. Go to connectors, and we're going to set connector properties. Now you're going to see the Acton Integrator. We'll go to that tab, and this is where we'll do, the, uh, do our copy and pasting from our Acton account. So the URL, which is going to be that very first portion of your Acton account, so your, for my case, it's ci36.actonsoftware.com. Again, yours will be probably a different CI. We'll paste your, your API key, which is the, what information we got from your Acton account here. Now, if you if there's a number of additional teams, so if you're if you're setting up multiple um, Acton accounts to connect to this your your ver your instance of Sugar, you're going to go ahead and put that number here, and you hit the test connector button. If you're add, adding additional uh, additional teams, you'll just rinse, watch, and repeat this particular step with the, all your other uh, with all your other Acton accounts. So you'll put that particular URL, and you'll put that specific API key for that Acton instance there. We'll hit test connector. That should say uh, uh, everything's okay, but if you do get an error message that says, it's, I, think it, I believe it's something along the lines of um, unauthorized IP address, and it'll give you an, uh, an IP address. You'll copy that IP address, bring it act, back in the act on that same page, so that uh, settings, apps, API access, you hit authorize IP address, and you'll paste that remote IP in there and hit submit, You'll see that it, just for the same, same same instance that I did here too, you'll see endpoint one, and it'll it'll hard code that uh, the IP address. It didn't move. Uh, and then you'll go back and test the connector again, and you'll get you'll get a you'll get a success message. And we'll save that. This will take you back to your connector settings, and you're pretty much good to go. So with that. Uh, that is the, all you have to do as far as the back end for connecting your Acton account to your Sugar account.